Suite.com is a fairly easy technology to use. However, during my teacher training sessions, teachers have pointed out things that I didn't realize, and I, over a period of time, have discovered more and more about Twe. So what I'm gonna try and do in this set of videos is show you some of the hidden gems and the things that you can do in Twe, including some of the activity types that kind of teachers misunderstand or have missed. The types of things that I mean are you can add instructions into the uh, activities, you can add new titles, you can reorder the activities. There are a series of activity types that require a little bit more effort to make them work properly. And there are a couple of things that are a little bit odd that often surprise teachers. So they go to create an activity and then it doesn't work. I'm going to try to deal with all of those issues so if you're a you know familiar with twee you're going to find this really useful and if you're starting with twee you're also going to find this really useful because you're going to learn all the key things to keep in mind right from the beginning really hope you like the video and as always if you do please like it please share it please comment on it let's get started make use of the menu system if you want to jump to any part like for example how to reorder exercises or if you want to look at some of the more tricky exercises that i've included towards the end if you're less familiar with twi watch the video all the way through because i'm going to start by making an activity for you and then work from there so we're on twi.com don't forget there is a free option Okay, 20 runs a month, 10 runs of media tools, five minutes of input limit on media. Okay, and then you can export as PDF files. So there is a free option. And what I'm gonna do is actually focus on the free option and just show you some of the things that perhaps you didn't realize that were available in TWI. So we'll put chapters in this video so you can jump around. So what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to quickly create a twee and add some activities. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over it and I'm going to show you lots of little things that I've realized that you can do, etc. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the more tricky uh, activity types that exist as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to log in to my account and I'm gonna jump straight over to the tools. That's where you wanna start. And an easy one to start with, but not one that I always used to start with, but an easy one to start with is just to get Twi to write you a text. So I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna ask it to write me a, a text on healthy eating. And I'm gonna ask for specific words that I want included. Um, and I'm simply gonna ask for uh, a few words to make sure that they're definitely in the text. I'm gonna write calories, I'm gonna write vitamins, uh, minerals, and I'm gonna say sport. Uh, I'm gonna use the word sleep. Um, and I'm, I'll am i leave it like that. Okay, so those words I'm, I'm asking to actually be in the text because that perhaps it's vocabulary that I want to practice. Now I'm gonna choose the genre. So I'm gonna make this a kind of blog post and I'll make it a little bit longer. So we'll just say 350 to 500 words and the level I'll be happy with B1. So I click on do the magic and it's gonna write me that text. And then what I'm gonna do, as I said, I will come back and show you lots of little tricks, but what I wanna do with that text now is to make some activities from it. Now, if you come underneath, so this is just so people know how to use the system, you've got lots of choice. You've got creating, create using words, okay? And that will, make activities using the words that you specifically asked for to be included. This takes the topic and creates more materials around the topics. And this takes the results of the topic and creates activities around it, which is the obvious thing for us to do. Like for example, fill in the gap. So if we clicked on this one here, it would grab the text. And then all we need to do, and I'll just do a few examples, is click on the word, so let's say health, and let's say the word vitamins and let's say the words um, vegetables let's say the word just do one more uh, let's say the word um, it's come down it's quite a long text actually perhaps I should have made it slightly sl shorter but I'm gonna put um, eating healthily I'm gonna click on that one so I click on the words that I wanted to make into a gap fill that makes a gap fill activity you can see that it's created the gaps and then what happens is it's actually 
provides me with the answers as well, which is very healthy. Um, very healthy. It's very helpful is the correct word that I'm looking for. I'll do one more activity and then I'll show you how to save this so you could share it with your students. Let's imagine that we wanted to add some true or false questions based on that text as well. So we click on true or false. Uh, it grabs the text again. You choose the level of the true or false activities. So I'm going to say from B1 to B2. Click on do the magic. Now we've got ourselves... Uh, an activity that's got three parts. First of all, it's got a text. Afterwards, it's got a gap fill activity. And then finally, there's this true or false activity. Now, it's just taking a few seconds to make that. Now, we can now turn that into a PDF file, which we then share with our students. So we click on export. So we choose this option here. Okay, and then you've got save as PDF or export as a Google form, uh, um, which is really handy and you have to have the pro for that. But we're gonna click on save as PDF. So I'm gonna click on export and that's gonna create a PDF file which you can then share with your students. Now, interestingly enough, um, and let's have a quick look at that uh, PDF file. There it is over there. If we just don't, that, that will be in your downloads. So you need to go to your downloads if you want to see that file. There it is in my downloads. Okay, I'm just going to double click on it there. And if you open up, you'll notice that obviously at the moment the order is text plus gap fill plus true or false questions and then the answers are provided on a separate page. Notice that the instructions are very basic. So there are actually a number of things that we could do to this um, to make it a bit more interesting, including the order, including the instructions, including the titles. Many people don't realize that you can make these changes very easily. So I'm going to show you lots of possibilities now of how we could build on this. But this is the basic idea. And obviously that, you know, you could use in the class with your students. It's pretty basic as it is. It would be interesting to, to make it more interesting or think a bit more carefully about how you're going to use it. But let's have a look at a few options. Obviously, TWI makes PDF files. If you're looking to create kind of activities that you can do with your students online so they can either access using their phones in the classroom from a QR code or they can click on a link and do some activities, then the ideal tool to use is WordWall. It generates loads and loads of games. You can create something like around 30 odd different game types. And these are activities to do online rather than in printed form. I'll put the link on the screen now and I'll also put it in the description. A uh, great video about using WordWall if that's the tool that you're interested in. But we're gonna get back now to Twi. Okay, so let's look at a few things that you could do. Let's say, for example, you wanted to reorder these exercises and you didn't want the can fill in the blanks to be the second exercise, but you wanted it to be the third, which might make sense. So you might want to do the true or false first as a kind of comprehension. You could click here and now that exercise would become the third exercise, the true or false would become the second, and of course the text would be the first. So that was a hidden button that I didn't realize existed, and that is the ability to change the order of the exercises. Now often you want to change the title, so click here and you can change the title of the text. So I'm gonna call this one, for example, healthy eating. And then the other thing that you might want to do, and I think you have to click on that to just make the change, is to click here to add a description. It's a really good idea to add in a, the instructions. So read the text, the text, and then answer. So I'll just put that answer, the true or false questions below. So you can put in instructions as well. And of course, you can do that to all of the activities. Okay, add a short description and, and edit the title. If you want to change the, the title or to put in more details of what you actually want the students to do, then you can do that there. Really hope you like the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free videos. I specialize in, in using technology in language teaching, not only in English, but in other languages as well. And if you want to really follow my work, then sign up to the newsletter. We have about 12,000 subscribers. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, you'll get updated with all the latest videos, the latest blog posts, the online courses that we run often. Uh, even the webinars are often free. But also at the moment, there's a free 14 part video course where I show you some of the most popular videos that I've put onto YouTube and technologies that teachers have really responded to me and said, yeah, this is excellent. So it's basically the 14 most popular videos on my YouTube channel. Right, let's get back to the video.
Remember, you can edit any of the text very simply, go below whatever it was you produced. You've got this shorten button here. I don't find that very useful because it seems, tends to be very radical, but I like this edit button because I can come in and come back to the text and just literally change anything I want to. I can just come in here, delete words, rewrite sentences, etc., and then click on save. So it's very, very easy to edit the text, take out vocabulary and replace it with other words that you want to use, etc. That's really quite an easy thing to do. So I'm going to go through a few problems, and these are things that I've, I've come across basically through doing training and then realize, oh, that, that, that works slightly differently. So let me give you an example. At the moment, we've got three examples here, and I'm going to show you two things that, that can go wrong. Let's imagine that you now decide to add another exercise that you want to add immediately after the written one. So you're thinking, right, I'm going to add it here, okay, rather than go right down to the bottom. Immediately after the text, you want to add another exercise. Remember, we've already got another one, which is the true or false, but you want to put something in between. So I'm going to choose word different definition matching, and it says create using the words. Now, you're probably thinking it's going to be using words from this text. No, it's going to be using the words that you, the target vocabulary that you have suggested. So if I click on word definition matching, all it's going to do is work with the words that I'd already targeted. So I would need to come in and add some extra words if I wanted to um, to make sure that the you know that there was plenty of words to generate the, the exercise from. It doesn't pull words from the text. It uses the words that you gave it to target. So I've provided these new words, and now if I click on do the magic, and maybe I'll check, check the level to B2, it's gonna produce for me a matching activity. And as you can see, it's worked with the words that I provided it with. Now notice also that that's been added right at the bottom. So if you wanted to now push that activity up, you would have to do that yourself by moving it up. Even though we kind of looked like we were trying to add it in to the bottom, uh, sorry, to go in, in second place. It doesn't. Whenever you add an activity, it always adds it to the end. And then afterwards, you need to reorder. So I'm just going to go back to the tools again and start another exercise. And one that I want to show you, just out of interest, because not because this particular activity is um, any, if it would, is we're going to be looking at this one here where we've got word formation. So okay, I'm going to create a word formation activity, okay? What I want to do though is just to show you how this activity works. It's kind of interesting. It actually generates the sentences for you. So you put in the words that you want to practice and it will make gap fill sentences for you and also force the students to change the form of the word. So it may move it from a noun to an adjective or to a verb, etc. So let me just type in some words and show you this because I must admit when we did the test, we were surprised how easy this activity is, how clever it is actually, and how useful it is. So we've got some words here, comprehensive, accommodation, inform, argue, understand, define, demonstrate. I click on do the magic. And what it does is it takes those words and it creates sentences from them. But in those sentences, it makes a gap fill activity for you. You'll see in a minute. Okay, there it is, where the students will need to, from the word here, not use this word, but use, they have to change it. So for example, this, the first one will be the report provides a comprehensive overview of the issue. We booked accommodation, please inform. So really interesting. And what's interesting about this is, it's just what a time saver this is because you literally paste in the words and it generates the sentences for you. Very clever one that I hadn't picked up on immediately. Really hope you like the video, and if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free videos. I specialize in, in using technology in language teaching, not only in English, but in other languages as well. And if you want to really follow my work, then sign up to the newsletter. We have about 12,000 subscribers. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, you'll get updated with all the latest videos, the latest blog posts, the online courses that we run often. Uh, even the webinars are often free. But also at the moment, there's a free 14-part video course where I show you some of the most popular videos that I've put onto YouTube and technologies that teachers have really responded to me and said, yeah, this is excellent. So it's basically the 14 most popular videos on my YouTube channel. Right, let's get back to the video.